hello guys welcome to the studio today once again we're going to be taking a look at how you can you know um spice up your kick especially if you're maybe like the the trap or the hip-hop kind of producer even if you're the r&b producer you want to spice, spice up that beat and have a little bit of pitch bend um using the lfo that how best can you achieve that there are several ways you can do that you can use your pitch bend in the lfo you can also um use your automates you can just automate that particular sequence using the pitch bend as well but then today we're going to be taking a look at how you can make you know that happen you know as quickly and as easy as possible let's go welcome back like i said earlier we're going to be taking a look at how you can make something like this yes that um how do we do that let's let's just drive in right away uh we'll go to the program uh let me see let's browse let's pick one of these i think um i might be might have been working with something similar here okay the thing with trap kit is um if you're using a trap kit for your beat most of the time you, you are more likely to have maybe like two um kicks already so um one might be the normal the other might just be altered let's try it with this so let's load this let me go back to main. Let's listen to what this is given. Okay. This is, this is not a kick. This one is actually mod modified. Um, this might either be layered, extended, or there is um, like an effect added onto it. But I'm, I'm sure it might be layered. Most of the time, they are layered like two or three other kicks or effects that makes this happen. This is just a normal one. So most of the time, when you buy a kit, the red are usually the kick and... Um, yep so okay we'll just make something simple uh let me take this down to four we'll still leave it on 120 it's just this is not like, kind of like a beat project i'm just going to show you how you can you know make do that effect that pitch bend that you heard earlier and then you know just spice up your beats something simple uh let me see let me just do a record and um Let me enable I, I just enable metronome with my shift play start uh, it's a shortcut if you need to know how to you know to handle more shortcuts check out the video here on this link provided you'll be able to actually access a lot of our shortcuts. we have more than 20 shortcuts that we've actually gone through that can help your workflow a lot easier because that is what we do here in the studio we help you with the shortcuts with the tips and tricks that make your work a lot easier and that way you'll be able to be more productive anytime you want to make your beats so if you like what we're doing here kindly you know um, hit the subscribe button and also like, share, stay safe. So let's go. Um, record, play start. Something simple. Yeah, that works. So. You hear that, that sound, this particular one, it makes it interesting, but then we need more, something like, we need more. Check it out. I need to work on this. So let me, before I do that, thank you, stop. Before I do that, I need to go and modify this. So in order to achieve that, basically what we have to do now is um, edit this. You know, it's kind of like just straight up right now. We need to pitch it a little bit. To do that, we go into, you click your menu and then part 14. You can also just type your menu and go to part, to program edit. This is where, that's a shortcut for that as well. Now here, as you can see, even this particular one, if you check this second key, it's, um, it's, just, it's not layered, it's just one. But this is kind of like, this is layered. Like you can see layer one, layer two, layer three. To also know how best to, to work with layers. We actually have a video on that as well. Then just take, it, um, take your time to look at the, the, the link here. You will have access to be able to know how to use program edits to actually do layering, which is kind of like a very interesting um, piece of, um, you know, knowledge to have as well. So let's go. This we're modifying. Best way to do that, we'll go to the LFO. Like I said, this is what we're going to be doing. 
LFO, this is what we have right now. We want to affect the pitch, right? Um, this sign first. Um, I like to. I'll take it to triangle. The more you increase your pitch, the more you notice that your sound will change. But it will change based on the waveform pattern you select, right? At a hundred. Do you get? If I take it up to one twenty-seven, let me leave it at a hundred. Let me do one ten. Anyway, what you have right now, it might not blend with your beat, but let's pick a sync. Now, this is a whole note. Did you get that? This is dotted half. This is half note. This one also can be useful, depending on the kind of beat you're trying to make and the kind of effect you are trying to add to that particular beat. This is a dotted quarter note. So let me see. Let me go to dotted whole note. Yeah. You see? Straight up. Two whole notes. I personally prefer this dotted whole note for what I'm trying to do right now. This might just be the one that will fit in the most. So we'll leave it this way and then that's just all. Modify your pitch and then change your sync. Select the type of um, note you want it to actually sync with based on the kind of music you're trying to make and the kind of effect you're trying to bring to the table. I like to select triangle. You can play around with this. There is no, this is not carved in stone. Play around with your waveform. Hear the outcome of each of them. One of them might just be the exact one that will suit that particular project you're working on. So, if we go back now to the main, and um, let's say I'm now playing it, and I want to record it on it. Do you get? If I record that, do you hear how it sounds? Okay, let me just mm, stop. Record. Yeah, well, wait up. Play start. Something like that. <laughs> Don't mind me just being around. Let's add up. Okay. Something simple, like I said. So, just, I believe you can just, you know, try that out 
and um, add it to your bid. Let me know what you feel about that particular simple effect and then what it can actually do for you in relation to the kind of beats you make. Don't forget again, once again, to like, subscribe and um, share. We will see you in the next one.